Hey guys, this is MarioFruit1989, and welcome back to Legends of Heroes of Terror Vermilion Part. Um, I think 53 or 54. It was last time we, um, I think, well, we got, we're on a boat, so obviously we did stuff. Anyways, let's go. So this is the Planetos. I've never dreamed I would get to get, get on it myself. What's going on? The Planetos was, was a great enemy of Octave's Apostle. The ship was pure white, with pure white sails um, appearing in the elf field and as a, a vehicle of the Sage of Power. What was that power? It was known as the White Eagle destroying Octopus Apostle Pirate Ship, one after another. So this is not just another high speed vessel. Well, heading, we're heading for, to Kanapia. Island where Octum's Apostle used to have their a base. The story goes that the Paladin of Paladin Army led by the Sage of Power arrive on the Planetos to suppress the Apostles. Gawain must have such a great must be such a great person, even though he looks like an ordin an ordinary man to me. That's because you know him since you were young. When I met him, I was afraid he was reading my mind. No wonder Mr. Belias also fears him. Really? <clears throat> Alright, that's cool. Let's talk to Gawain. Gawain was gazing towards the far horizon with the with his turquoise eyes. Gawain? Oh, Avon. It, it, it'll take a while, a while before we can get too knappier. If if you're tired you can go ahead and rest on the in the cabin. I'm not tired. What's Kanapi Island like? Well it's an island left behind by the currents of time. There's only a small village of the Tsar's tribe. Madrim told me that someone named Dominique died there. That's right. It's been fifteen years now. Gawain was silent as if he filled with deep emotions. Perhaps I should talk to him now. Oh, poor Gawain. Oh, what the hell, cat? Go away. Yeah, thanks. Anyways, let's talk to the captain now. Even if you're bored, let me tell you an interesting story about the sea. I'm not bored, but I'll, I would like to hear your story. Alright, then, do you know where the word... Garharv came from? Garharv? Garharv is the great cliff in the ground that runs along the east of East end of Elfield. And see what that field? It is very wide and contains a giant vortex that swallows every ship that tries to cross almost instantly. Many people had challenged the vortex, but no one has ever successfully crossed it. Um, the old man also tried to pass away Guy Gagharv when he was young. Really, Gawain. So we're on, on. What's on the other side of Gagharv? No one knows. Mists have the seawater that is um, sucked up by the giant vortex covers the entire expanse. Gagharv like a thick veil of fog. Beyond may lie the end of the world. The end of the world or perhaps another land. My dream is to continue the old man's dream and see what lies on the other side of Gaharv. And I'm going to do it on the Planetos. Wow, what a really great story. Do you have any dreams yourself, Raven? Dream? I ha may have had one before, but now all I can think about is rescuing people I love and living in peace. That's a nice dream. Personally, I think you make you be you make a talent sailor. Would you like to travel with us on the planet hill someday to see the what lies beyond Garharv? You always you're always welcome. Haha, ha, I'll think about it. Thomas. Uh oh, what is it, old man? You look pretty disturbed. The water's acting strangely. Our ship will be sucked in. What? Alright, sorry. What the? What's that? Sorry. Hard port. Planetos turn to port quickly. Eek. 
Eek! The ship is it's is shaking. I don't understand. Uh, there is no storms. There is no storms, but the waves are raging. Thomas, we can't get to Canapia in this condition. We should return to Rizak. Turn the ship around. Don't worry, old man. The planetos don't have trouble with high waves like these. Trust this treasure ship and help and your people. I wouldn't have said anything if those waves were acting like acting or act of nature, but I'm afraid they are not. Huh? Okay. I'll turn the ship around. Hey. And guys, someone is on a raft, drift out and see. See someone over there. He's be, he, he'll be he'll be drown. How about he'll drown? We should take out the, the small boat. I'm gonna save Michael because that guy from like part I don't know 30 or 40 I don't know. Can you rescue that the person? The waves are pretty high, but be careful. Do not fall into the water. Even be careful. I'll be okay. Don't worry. Well, the good thing is they do save him. Oh God. Okay, I'll, I think we got him. Hey, I know him. I saw him somewhere before. Get him into the boat quickly. We must get back to the ship. We have to get to the planet toes. I will out of this area as soon as possible. Uh oh. So we saved Michael. It doesn't look like he swallowed a lot. It doesn't look like he swallowed a lot of water. I think he he'll he'll come too soon. Um. Anyway, um, what a weird-looking man. I'm positive that's him. Yeah, I think so too. So you know this guy? I believe this young man's name is. Well, I'm gonna say Michael, even though that's totally Mikel or something like that. He'll help. Uh, he helped us in the ruins on the True Fallen. Ugh. He's his conscience. He's conscious. Yeah. Where am I? You're on a, a board. You're on a board a ship called the Planetos. We have met before, Michael. I didn't expect to see you here. Oh, it's you. I met you in the Blue Tribe ruins. Thank you. You saved my life. You really are unpredictable. What are you doing out here, drowning? Um, were you shipwreck? I was traveling along on a small boat. At and as I was approaching the western shore, the boat was blown over by a strong force. The boat was shattered to pieces, I guess. I, I dripped all the way here. Hey, wait a second. West of here is the shore which, it, which is on the opposite side of Cathedra. Were you trying to... Were you trying to throw your life away? What do you mean by that? Optum's barrier extends to the coastlines as well. No ship can get to Cathedral from the other side because of the barrier. I see the barrier was it was formed by the power of Octum. No no wonder I was powerless. Who are you really? what you say is already awfully suspicious, but your accent as far as I know, no one around here speaks like that. I guess I'm in trouble. Thomas don't give him a hard time, but you have a point. He knows so much about the ancient ruins and disappear without telling us. I remember. You said that you heard about Bart the Bardish Church. For the, you said you heard about it for the first time. Um, he does seem suspicious. Hey, hey, are, are you defending me or questioning me? Michael Wright, as the person in charge of the Plantos, I can't keep suspicious people on my ship. Def identify yourself, or may I have to lock you up in the cargo hold? Thomas, that's enough. I knew he was different from the first time I met him. Michael, 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 you're, you're not from Elfilden, are you? Ha ha ha, old man, did you get see now or something? If he isn't from Elfilden, then where on earth is he from? Not from the heavens, I hope. To us, it probably seems to be the same place. What am I? What I'm saying is that he came from the other side of Garharv. Garharv? The cleft at the end of the world? That's impossible. Oh well, you knew. You're the sage of power after all, Gawain. You figure it out from the from our conversation. 
and my guest was right then. Let me introduce myself again. My name is Mikhail D. Lap Heaven. Yeah. I'm from Tire Tireswell, the place that lies on the other side of Garhar. It's like a dream. I can't believe there's another world beyond the Garhar. Mr. Michael, you're amazing and, success and succeeded in doing something no other sailor was able to accomplish. Now I just happen to be able to use the transfer spells. There is meaning to the challenge of the Garhar by boat, just like Thomas. Hey, is your transfer spell kind of like the transfer gate at the capital? The transfer gate that's a relic left by the blue tribe compared to the my spell is like a ch it's like child's play. If I make if I make a long distance transfer, I become unable to use the spell for a while. Your skills are rather mighty and powerful. With some with some power, what is the purpose of your visit to Elfilden? I have two reasons. One is just curiosity. I wanted to see how things were on the other side of Garhar. And Tire Swell, where I come from, the Garhar was a symbol that, of the end of the world. I wanted to go beyond it. You wanted to see a world that you've never seen before. I know how you feel. Ha ha ha, I guess, you, I guess human curiosity is the same no matter what world you're living. The second reason is because I felt an evil presence from Elder Fielding. I wanted to find out what was behind it, but I never thought that it would be the legend of Dark God. Legendary Dark God. Okay, why does, why did you disappear at the Truth Island? You used a transfer spell to that time to write that time. To tell you the truth, I had just arrived there and didn't know my right way from left. My right from left. You didn't look like a bad person, but I, I, but I wasn't really ready to tell who I was either. You told us about yourself. Does that mean you trust us more? Yes. After that, I wandered all across Elfilden to confirm what was going on in this world. And this is how I found out you were working to put a stop to the plans of Octums of Darkness. They may be some reason that I ran into you again. Will you let me help you? But this is a problem of Elfilden, but I'm not sure if we should evolve someone from another world. No, the battle between Bardus and Octum is not just a problem of this world. The Garhar came in existence from some reason, and the sleeping gods were left in this world. Then this is the problem for all humans. I agree, he looks like he can be of help. I also have a problem, I also have no problem with this, with his, with his coming, okay. Then it decides, decide, Michael, thanks. Thank you too. It's, it's good to have more people on our side, but the problem is, we can't get close to Kanapi Island. We need to do something about these rough waves. When we were drifting, I felt as though that the tecton tectonic plates is that area are going through some kind of shift. What? I think why we have such rough waves, the tectonic plates, you mean the flow of energy that between Hades and the surface crust? It is the energy that moves the Earth's surface in itself. There's nothing the power of humans can do about it. That's troublesome. Lord Belias, Octum's apostles are trying to call Octum in to in the Hades. Perhaps that is the cause of all this. If the tecton tectonic plates have shift somehow in the court. <laughs> causes the ocean to become rough, we should do something about the area to fix. That's the quickest way to fix the problem. It's probably impossible to destroy the tectonic plates. What the hell is tectonic plates? But if we apply enough shock, it may drift back to the way it was. The problem is how to apply the shock. I don't think the spell would work on the bottom of the ocean. Uh, then can't we use explosives like they used in the mimes? No way, but we can't light them, light up the under, light them up underwater. Oh yeah, huh? Hmm. Maybe we can use that. That there is a, a cavern called the 
Beaton Cave to the east of Brzezak. It will it's well known as a source of peat. There is a Jew made there called the Crimson Fire. That Jew can be cherished by the aristocrats. I hear that it is a beautiful gem containing a light that waves like fire within a crimson crystal. How is a Jew like that is going to help us? The Crimson Fire is a crystal that grows within the peat. The longer you leave it in the peat, the peat, the longer it grows, but if it gets too big, it takes on an interesting characteristic. An interesting characteristic. It explodes when it is applied to, applied shock to it. It says that it's so much more powerful than using explosives. I see, that means we can drop it into the ocean and make it explode. Um, the Tan Cave is managed by the Mark Choirs family of Razak, we have to talk to Miss Malibu, Malibu, <laughs> that's funny, first, okay, let's go, then I'm going back to the planet house, we'll be ready so that you can leave when you guys come back, okay, thanks, oh god, wow, 16 minutes, nothing but dialogue, Jesus Christ, and he joins the party, oh god damn it, and as you can see, he's Actually, just as powerful as uh, Gawain. Actually, I'm gonna check his items because he sucks too. He's, he's just as weak. So let's just use the items here and give him a boost, hopefully. Anything would do. I should really work on his defense, but you know, anything would do. Anyway, so. We have to go to this family, which is, I believe, is a house in the center of town. I'm trying to remember. Actually, that's back to the ship, I think. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Where is that house of theirs? It's definitely not here. And definitely not here. That was like, most of the video was mostly dialogue and cutscenes. Sheesh. Uh. But then again, it's an RPG, I guess. Oh, that's not it. I'm running around in circles here, like, where is it? Is it over here? I really don't remember how to maneuver around this damn town. Um, so anyways, I oh, up here, here we go. Now let's see, where are these people? I live in a house. I see, is this the house right here? No, that's not it. That's the shop, the weapon shop. Actually, I think this is it right here. Here we go. I think we're told. Is it this guy? No, I think we have to go upstairs. I remember it was this house. Oops. I think this is the lady. Here we go. <coughs> oh, Sir Gawain. I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to see you so healthy. Your beauty shines through as even Duchess. I came here today to make a request. So I'm going to explain to Miss Malibu. That's still funny. The abnormal situation at, off the coast of... I see. Why is her text blue? You want to use the crimson fire to calm the rough waves. Right? If... Yeah. If by chance you have a crimson fire that has grown t too much, would you be able to give it give it to us? Of course, I will pay you. It's not even worth one rout, so if I had one, I'd gladly give it to you. But unfortunately, I don't have one here. Does that mean there's one in the Eton Cave? Perhaps there are. There may be one at least. But lately, some monsters have been living there. Miners were, were got, miners got hurt, so we closed off the entrance. We request the adventure guild to get rid of the monsters, but they did had enough people, so it's been placed on hold. Then there's only one conclusion: we'll go and defeat the monsters by ourselves. Then we can take our time looking for the jewel. Hmm. That sounds good, I'll leave it to you. 
I even attain the door key. Use the use that to open the gate to the entrance of the Eton Cave. There's a swamp made of peat deep inside, and that's where the crimson fire grows. I think you should look for one that is about the size of your fist. That's pretty dangerous, I think. Oh, and I have one request since you are going to the cave. Sure, anything that you want. If you find a crimson fire that is about the size of an egg, would you bring it back for me? This be becomes too big, it, it gets bigger and... What? <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Sure, if you, if you find one, we'll bring back, bring back one for you. Wow. <sighs> that... That whole cutscene and dialogue took up the whole video. Anyways, until next time, Smurfy 99, and see you in the next part.